Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another product empties. I always find these videos super interesting, seeing what products other people liked and what products they didn't. So I have a whole assortment from body wash, shampoo, and of course, a lot of makeup products. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. The first product I used up over the last five or six months is this Raw Sugar Simply Body Wash Cold Pressed in the scent Vanilla Bean Plus Sugar. Now the pros of this body wash are they give you a lot of body wash, it's pretty affordable, I think it's like five or six dollars, and it's made with a lot of natural ingredients. I felt this body wash was really soothing on the skin and I liked how it felt, but it just didn't have a strong enough scent for me. I do like very nicely scented body washes, like the kind of Bath & Body Works. I just like to smell good after I take a bath or shower. The product was like a little bit too natural for me, but it's a very nice product. And if you aren't into very scented products, I think you would really like this. Speaking of body wash, I also used up a Perfect Peony body wash from Bath & Body Works. It was not my favorite scent. It smelled a little too much like peonies. Normally I like, I like very floral and soft clean scents like that however i think this was just a little too heavy on the peony and i wish it had um kind of some more contrasting notes in it i used up some detox dry shampoo from dry bar now my hair is pretty oily and i wash my hair almost every day in fact my hairstylist said my hair is very healthy so i think that's okay for me because i have such oily hair and skin but I do use dry shampoo from time to time when I'm not washing my hair. Overall, I don't think dry shampoos really do much for me, but I do like this one because it does smell good and I will be repurchasing it. I also used up this other dry shampoo, the Bedhead Rockaholic Dirty Secret Dry Shampoo. I actually think this one is more effective than the, than the dry bar, but again, it doesn't have a nice scent. And I'm like all about the scents with products, so I would repurchase this again because it's like, I think you can usually get these for like $10, even though they're $20, but a lot of times they're 50% off at Ulta, whereas I think this is like $22 or $24. So this is definitely the better value. It's also a bigger bottle. I use up another <laughs> body wash. I take like one or two showers a day. I work out a lot. What can I say? I use up a lot of body wash. And this was probably my favorite body wash I've tried. This is the Citrus and Herbal Musk by Native. This scent is so good. It's like the perfect balance of clean and sensual. It's really my kind of scent. There's tons of body wash in here. It lasted me like a month. And it's formulated without all these bad ingredients. It also has a scent unlike the raw sugar one. So I really, really like this body wash and I've been on the hunt to find this exact scent again. I've seen some other scents and I've smelled them in the drugstore and they just don't smell as good. So I really want this specific one again, but it's evading me. I used up my favorite concealer, finally, the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer. I wear the shade Snow and this is truly the most superior concealer. This lasted me like over a year. I think it's $30. You just get so much in here that I think it's superior than drugstore concealer. This really lasts all day. All of my other makeup will be melted off and this concealer is still going strong. It's great if you have oily eyelids, but it's not too heavy like Shape Tape. It's really nice and blendable while being full coverage. And I don't think I'll find a concealer I like more than this one. This has been my favorite mascara since my favorite one from MAC got discontinued. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Jaclyn Hill recommended it. This mascara lasts a really, really long time. I could probably still be using it, but I think that'd be really bad for my eyes. It has this really nice volumizing brush. It's a really thick, dark, wet mascara and it just makes your lashes look amazing. I have very light blonde eyelashes and I have to really have a wet mascara because I need a lot of coats to get them black. I think people that have dark eyelashes don't realize that this is a problem that people who have very light eyelashes have. Um, so it's challenging sometimes for me to find good mascaras, but I really, really like this and I already repurchased another one. I used up the Olaplex Bond Maintenance Shampoo. This shampoo is amazing. I think this is partly why my hairdresser said my hair was so healthy. 
this shampoo has just really clean ingredients. Your hair smells really, your hair just feels really fresh after you use it, but it also feels moisturized. It's not heavy. My hair is just so much more manageable when I use this shampoo and I really, really like it. And I'm already on my second bottle and I'm like halfway done with it. So love this stuff. Another mascara I used was this Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. I thought this mascara was extremely disappointing. The Urban Decay one is much superior. This one is also like five or six dollars more. It is a wet mascara, um, but the brush is just so small. It does nothing for you. Sorry, I'm like all over the place here, but this really gives you no volume and you need a ton of coats to like darken your eyelash. And it's totally not worth the price in my opinion. You're just paying for this gorgeous packaging. I'm actually kind of glad I ended up not liking this mascara because it is so pricey. I picked it up at a Sephora VIB sale and figured I would try it out, but I have to say I was not a fan of this. Speaking of mascaras I was not a fan of, I thought this mascara straight up sucked. And that's the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. It was very hyped on TikTok. So naturally I had to buy it. It has a very similar wand to the Hourglass. Um, and again, this just did nothing as far as darkening my eyelashes. It felt like I was doing like 30 coats and my eyes were still not dark. Like this just did nothing for me. And I saw Janine Amapola use this mascara and it looked so good on her, but she has very dark eyelashes and she has a darker complexion and it just really worked for her. But for me, for being fair skinned with fair eyelashes, this just didn't do crap for me. And I've heard some other people say that they were disappointed with it as well. And it was kind of one of these products that was like super hyped up by TikTok. But I don't even think this product is just overhyped. I think this product like sucks and I will not ever repurchase it. I know that some people are going to be mad at me for saying that. I used up the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hand Cream in Sweet Vanilla Peach. I love this stuff. It's so moisturizing. And this scent was really, really nice. I think it was like limited edition. My mom actually got this for me for Christmas. So I think she might have ordered it from QVC, but this hand cream is so hydrating. I used up another shower gel, the Aromatherapy Orange Plus Ginger Energy from Bath & Body Works. I really like this one. Really clean, warm scent. And I feel like the Aromatherapies are a great value. They're a little bit bigger than the regular shower gels. So they last a little bit longer. Used up the niacinamide and zinc blend from The Ordinary. This is great for acne, acne scarring, red marks. I use this a lot on my back for my back knee. Um, and I use sometimes more expensive products on my face, but this product definitely does the job. I already ordered another product. I ordered it in the bigger size because I go through these pretty fast. I use these multiple times a week. I wouldn't say every day, but definitely like four or five times a week. I guess this counts because I found this in my work bag, even though I haven't been to work in over a year, but I was like using this for like random touch-ups during the day. And as you can see, there's no product in here. And that's the CoverGirl Clean Matte Foundation in Classic Ivory. I'm not sure if they still make this foundation, but it is a nice drugstore foundation if you have oily skin. I used up the Morphe eyeliner. I just will never pay for high-end eyeliner anymore because I think this eyeliner and e.l.f. eyeliner is so good. Um, I also probably could still be using this, but again, it's not really sanitary. I think I got this back in last January or February, but the point is really nice, goes on smoothly, very pigmented, lasts all day. I would say like it's almost waterproof. It's pretty hard to get it off at the end of the day, so... Um, I really liked it and I would definitely pick up another one. I used up this mini dry shampoo from Tresemme. Um, I would primarily use this when I'd go to my boyfriend's and stay overnight. This shampoo, this dry shampoo smells amazing. It's really clean and it's pretty effective. I would definitely repurchase. I used up two of the Laneige lip sleeping masks in the mint cocoa. This was my favorite scent until I tried the gummy bear one recently and that's my new favorite. But this is really clean and cooling with a hint of sweetness. If you like minty things, you would love this. I think these masks are a great value. They really last a long time. Like I use these multiple times a day and one probably lasts me about six weeks. 
And I feel like drugstore chapstick, you just go through those so quickly that this is actually a better value. I've said it before, I don't think this product is like, wow, like godly, like some people make it out to be, but it is very moisturizing and effective. And I really do like this brand. I used up a Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Gel Cleanser. This is made with hyaluronic acid. This is great, doesn't irritate my acne or redness, takes off your makeup very well and I've been using this cleanser for years now. I did try this cleanser for winter because um, my skin was a little bit dry. I This was really hyped up on TikTok, the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Um, it has hyaluronic acid in it as well. However, I think this cleanser gave me some texture and I don't know, I, I kind of think it irritated my skin. So it was probably just a little bit too harsh for me because I do have really sensitive skin, even though Hiram and people like that said like the ingredients are really good. I just don't know that it worked for me. I do think there's a lot of ingredients in here for people saying it's so clean. So I don't know, but I might try um, some of their other cleansers, like the regular one. Maybe it was just the hydrating one that kind of irritated me. I also will say it wasn't immediate. It was only after I had started using it for a couple weeks that I noticed myself getting like this texture really on my cheeks. It's really only where I saw it. Finally, I used this up a long time ago, the Vanilla Mocha Cafe shower gel from Bath & Body Works. This smelled pretty much like warm vanilla sugar. It was really good and I liked it. So that wraps up my product empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.